the black shorts model uh, means option prices uh, manually as well as in excel uh, as we know that uh, uh, in black shorts model we have uh, six inputs for example uh, the current stock price is 41 and its size price is 40 uh, and volatility that is represented by sigma is 0.3 and the continuously compounding risk free rate is 8% while the maturity is 3 months and that is divided by 3 divided by 12 in months it would be and if we convert into year it would be 0.25 and we assume that uh, dividend uh, that is represented by delta is zero uh, now according to this model you can see that if we want to calculate uh, call uh, option uh, then we have uh, D1. Uh, how D1 and D2 is calculated? Uh, D1 is simply log S by K. It is basically return. And then we have uh, uh, second part, risk free rate minus dividend yield uh, plus half multiplied by sigma square. That is multiplied by T. And then it is uh, whole divided by sigma uh, multiplied by T under root. Now, after getting D1, then uh, we look at uh, this uh, value uh, in Z table, or uh, we can get with the help of Excel function as well. In the same way, we will calculate D2, but in D2, the only difference is that here we have plus sign, and here before 1 by 2, we have minus sign, the rest of the formula is same, or even we can calculate this D2 uh, uh, by putting this simple formula. Uh, that is given to us that D1 minus delta uh, multiplied by T under root. And uh, regarding put option, if uh, due to, uh, with the help of uh, put call parity, uh, we can get put option value uh, when we have call option price that we have calculated in this first step. And then we uh, use this formula K, K e raised to our minus RT minus S e raised to our minus uh, These are nothing, just uh, these are basically uh, present value concept. And you have definitely learned in time value of money that how we can get uh, present value if uh, uh, by using the concept of continuous compounding continuous discounting as well. And now uh, we calculate our uh, we start our calculation. The first one that uh, this one uh, we will calculate D1. And here we have log function, then S by K. Here we have S, and then divided by K. Now. Then B part, this one is equal to this free rate that is uh, 0 0.08 minus dividend yield. Here it is 0 uh, plus 1 by 2, or it can be written as 0 0.5 uh, multiplied by sigma square. Here we have the sigma that is uh, 0.3. Just we will take its square. You will have to calculate all these things manually if you want to calculate it manually. And that is multiplied by T time period in here, that is 0.25. Now, after getting this, uh, then these twos are added. Just add these two. And now get denominator. In denominator, we have again this sigma, and that is multiplied by time period under root 0.5. So uh, if we divide the numerator by denominator, we will get uh, this value that is uh, 0.37. Now for D2, we can use uh, uh, again this formula. Just uh, copy these numbers. Uh, the, uh, the second <coughs> part is only different. The first part is same. And then C and here we will get D. The first part is same, that is log SK, log divided by SK. Uh, but second part, if we copy here, and then if we move this one, control X here, and then we copy it again, we get the same thing. Now, here, just we will have to change this minus sign that we have here minus 
rest of the formula is same. And again, just copy it, uh, sum it. And now the C is also same. And just divide this numerator by denominator. Uh, we are getting 0.22 uh, by using this one. Even we can use this formula that is simple one uh, because we have already calculated this T1. Now by using this one, here we have D1. And then minus we have calculated uh, this C0.15 and you will get the same answer. Now, this after getting D1 and D2, uh, in call option, uh, we need its uh, Z table value. Now, uh, for example, here we have 0.37. Now we break this 0.37 in two parts, 0 0.30 and then 0 0.07. Now, here just look at here we have 0.3 and now here we have 0.7. The value is 0.6443. One. 0 0.64431. Just we will get this one. 0 0.64431. Now, for a second value, ND2, here D2 is 0 0.22. Again, break this 0 0.22 uh, in two parts, 0.2 and then point zero 0.02. So here again we have this point 0.2 and then uh, we have this number uh, 0 0.58706. This one 0 0.58706. Point 0.58706. When we can get, if we were using Excel and if you ask to calculate the black hole by Excel, then we norm this function, we can get this. Now, uh, we have now ND1 and ND2. Now we need S e raised to power minus delta T. And now here we have S, S is 41. That is uh, multiplied by exponent of minus Delta zero multiplied by time period that is a point two five. And then we have uh, this minus minus k e raised to power minus r t. Now here we have equal to minus k k is forty. Now basically we are finding expression value multiplied by exponent of minus r t. Here is free rate is 0 0.02 and multiplied by time period in year 0.25. Now, now, this is for example, we have A part and this is our B part. Now, for A part, we multiplied this ND1, yeah, SE, this one by ND1. Yes. And uh, for B part, then this we have KE, this one, multiplied by ND2. And then because we had already inserted negative, just sum it. Now oh, this is uh, 6.42, uh, we have uh, this number. Uh, I think uh, we have some mistake. Uh, let me check. Now A is uh, 26 and B is, uh, let's say, yes, uh, 23. And uh, just uh, uh, change this negative sign. I'll just make the difference of these two. 26 uh, minus this one. Oh, it is okay. That is uh, 3.40. Uh, this, this is basically a call option price. Now for uh, put option price, uh, we have a call option and then we have these two. We had already calculated these two. Uh, now for put option, I am just writing uh, here that uh, we have this call option. Yes, yes, call option. Then plus a 
have calculated this one. And then minus S, this one. Now oh, this, this is 1.61, uh, this is port option basically. And this one is call option. And even uh, you can get uh, put option uh, by using uh, this formula. Uh, here we need n minus d2 and then n minus d1. And now how n minus d1 is basically 1 minus nd1 and 1 minus nd2 or equal to 1 minus this one nd1 and then nd2. Now just put all these value here uh, in this put option. Now k e raised to power, yes, this is our k and that is multiplied by n minus d2, this one. And then minus this one s uh, that is multiplied by n d1. Here this is n d1. You can see that uh, we have the uh, same answer. Now you can get uh, this value uh, instead of using this J table. If you are using Excel, uh, then with the help of norm gist function, I am here using equal to norm gist. And then here value is 0 0.30, then zero mean unit standard deviation and cumulative value is uh, uh, to this one. And you can see that almost you have the uh, same number that is uh, 0.645. Uh, thank you very much uh, for watching uh, this video.